Oh, and the Connecticut State Senate has given final approval to a bill that gives the governor more power to balance the budgets. They worked through the night on that deal, and this comes as the layoff notices are expected to go out today. News 8's Kent Pierce has more on what's going on. Kent. Yeah, Chris, and Chris, through the night is right because the Senate didn't pass this bill until 2.30 this morning. And the thing about it is we still don't know exactly what's going to happen with state layoffs because the bill they passed, well, it still allows for changes over the next few weeks. Here's what we know so far. There will be no more cuts in state aid to cities and towns. That should help keep property taxes down, but there's a price. Earlier this week, the governor had been talking about 5,400 layoffs and eliminating 1,000 vacant jobs for a total loss of 6,400 state jobs. That number just went up by 1,000. The deal now calls for 6,400 layoffs, cutting 1,000 vacant jobs for a total of 7,400 state jobs lost. The Democratic leaders in both the House and the Senate are in effect squeezing the unions that voted the concession package down. We hope that the state employees actually take a look at this, the concession package for a second time, ideally vote on it again and ratify it. The state would be well served if the members of CBAC uh, revisit their position. And it could work. The governor's legislation has a section that says any changes made could all be canceled if the unions change their no vote on concessions by the end of August. The governor's issued a bill which gives till August 31st for that concession package to be ratified and happen. When they see that there is actually going to be layoffs and the changes that actually start affecting them and that when they hear from around the country that this was actually a good deal for state employees, I think that'll change people's minds. They don't have to change many people's minds either because a majority of union members actually voted yes the first time around, but the complicated union bylaws meant that really it was technically rejected. Now union leaders hope to work out a new deal and have a new vote in time to avoid the thousands of pink slips that Governor Malloy is now authorized to send out. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.